Back here at home, three trailblazers were honored today for being the first black police officers in Opelousas. News 10 Sky Price explains how they changed the course of history. In the 1950s, three amazing individuals by the names of Bernard Lewis, Philip Selly, and Julius Guillory joined the Opelousas Police Department during a time of racial segregation. As a result, they were honored for their contributions to the community. During the ceremony, the families of each officer gave their remarks on how they have been impacted by their legacies. A couple of Lewis's family members were there. Bernard Lewis's grandson, Bernard Lewis III, says his grandfather's testament to inspire and uplift resonates with him. I've heard a lot of stories about my grandfather from being a young man to the age I am now. I'm still hearing stories. And it's just a beautiful thing to see that somebody related to me was able to make a big difference in, in his community in his time. Donovan Lewis says these group of men have shaped the narrative of resilience and progress for those behind them. Them being first black police officers is a small portion of what they left on, on in, as far as impact on this city, on the people of the city, on people who have who've been in the city, who've left this city, you know. And I learned a long time ago that it's not what you leave people, it's what you leave in people. Opelousas Police Chief Greg LeBlanc says it's important for new generations to understand the power of their roots. It's very important that we fill our, our younger generations, our kids, with the, with the information of who they are, where they come from, what their family did, to give them that pride to be able to get up and go out and do great things. In Opelousas, Kai Price, Kayla Fwai, News 10.